I made the Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. It's 12.23 p.m. on July 2nd, 2023 in Kitsilano, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 22 degrees outside and a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for two kilometers starting by the Transit bus stop at West Broadway and Lark. Then stroll west along West Broadway through Greektown, ending my trek in West Point Grey by the Transit bus stop at Alma and West 10th. If you would like to support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forcewood here. Just walking along the Greek Town Strip here in Kitsilano, which would be on the west side of Vancouver. This would be the neighborhood between Fairview to the east and West Point Gray to the west, as well as below it would be the Art Bridge Ridge. Art of Art, art abuse, Arbutus Ridge. <laughs> the Arbutus Ridge <laughs> neighborhood. There's actually a fabulous lookout over there. Uh, I've been looking at it on the map and I think I'll uh, make a trip over to the patty shop there and maybe start out at that lookout point or end at that lookout point for a walk. Looks pretty cool. This would be Trafalgar Street and West Broadway. So this would be Trafalgar Street looking in a southerly direction. And we'll continue on West Broadway Street here. And of course you know this is a desired and sought after neighborhood because of the Dairy Queen that's here. And by the way, they got churro dip cones now. <laughs> There's a very popular uh, diner over here called the Sunshine Diner that we'll be passing by. Looks like they got a bit of an open balcony. So very cool. Get to see some people eating on an open balcony. That's a pretty big balcony. Wow. Good use of space. That'd be one of those greasy spoons that you go to. That one ain't cheap, though. <laughs> it ain't over the top like you can go to, it, but it ain't cheap. <laughs> and it's understandable. I'm sure they had cheaper prices back in the day, but now it ain't cheap. <laughs> over here, they got their own uh, bulk food store. And it's just called the bulk food store. That's a lot like a bulk barn. So you can just come in there. Check out that stuff. Oh look. They got the advertisements up. So there you go. There's the Jericho Beach Park. There's going to be the Vancouver Folk Music Festival on July 6th, 14th to 16th. <laughs> Very cool. And this would be the intersection of Stevens and West Broadway. And that would be Stevens in a southerly direction. I'm going to keep walking here. It's our turn. Right over here, you can see a Safeway. And this is the local grocery store that's actually on the strip. And then there's produce stores after that, too. A grocery store would have meats and a bakery and all that stuff. And then there's separate stores that just specialize in produce. I believe there might be a butcher or two. Um, 
haven't seen one over here. I'm probably just mixing that up with a few other neighborhoods that have butchers, but yeah. This would be, Safeway would be where you come to get your meats if you wanted to buy them directly on this stretch. But there's a no frills also at the corner of Alma and West Fork, which isn't too far away. And over there you can uh, <laughs> get a few lower priced groceries, including produce and meats. But the produce stores over here are absolutely absolutely high quality in my opinion you can disagree it's just my opinion <laughs> so we'll keep walking here on west broadway and we're coming up the mcdonald street doesn't look like we'll be able to cross because it's down to like four seconds there goes the number nine Alma bus. That'll end at Alma. Then it goes, I believe, all the way back to a boundary road at the Burnaby Vancouver border. Anyways, this is the intersection of West Broadway and McDonald's. And if you headed in that direction south on McDonald's, you'd walk over to the Arbutus Ridge neighborhood. That's also where you can get some really good Jamaican patties down at the patty shop. And there's an ICBC over there too to get your insurance done. <laughs> your driver test, your service card. Anyways, let's turn back on West Broadway. This neighborhood last week was uh, absolutely filled because there was a festival on Sunday. It closed down the entire street from McDonald all the way over to pretty much Alma. There was a little local traffic route where they could skip out if you're local traffic, but other than that, shut it down from wall to wall people. <laughs> that video should be coming out in a couple days. <laughs> so you'll be able to see that. It'll probably come out before this, so look in the back catalog for it. It would be the Greek Day on Broadway, which is the name of the festival. And over here, there's just a whole slew of different restaurants from everything from like a chain like Quesa to uh, a smaller restaurant like Petit Bao and these produce stores as well. Then you got your Cobbs Bakery of course. And you can see Cobbs Bakery is all over Canada. It always surprises me when Toronto thinks Oh, we're the only ones that have Cobb's Bakery and maybe a few of the adjacent cities. No, they're, they're all over Canada. Over here is Sully's. That's where you get your uh, <laughs> fix on for bagels. You get stuff on the bagels. <laughs> Keep walking here. Over here is the purebred bakery. It's more of a, a coffee shop and bakery, so you can also go there, sit down, and relax. And this would be one of the only um, <laughs> Mongolian grills that I know about over here in Vancouver. <laughs> they have an all, all you can eat. And like it's like a buffet, but really you're you're putting stuff in a bowl and then you're gonna put it to fry and stuff. So <laughs> I haven't eaten there yet. I've just heard descriptions of it. So <laughs> let me know your experience if you want to share it in the comments. Over here, we're coming up. <laughs> okay, looks like we have to stop. So this is our stop right here. Over there is La La Island Coffee. And then over here you can see like Hong Tong Restaurant or Hu Tong. Okay. And you got the Kitsilano Family Acupuncture local Domino's Pizza. So 
So just a mix of different types of restaurants. Everything from that chain to that smaller independent restaurant and even in between. Here's Lava Island for you. Because I had to come out, because I had to film the farmer's market, I had to come out earlier. <laughs> it is a little earlier. La La fills up generally more in the afternoon. Uh, here's one of my places. They've just opened up. This is Itachigon. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> I just say, like, their kit's burrito. That's good. It's more than just a burrito, like, it's a whole plate they serve with it too absolutely delicious and they have really good tacos too and we're passing uh, the local banana leaf it's got lots of nice patio seating so if you're looking for a patio it's a pretty good one east is east also has one over here and i got a chai lounge and a restaurant so you can chill out here too And we'll keep walking here on West Broadway through Greek Town. Now it is called Greek Town because this is where the Greek diaspora chose to settle when they started coming to this neighborhood way back, like in the 19. <laughs> like 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, all that type of stuff. And then he got more diverse after that, but you can still see like the Greek influence is pretty significant here, especially with the festival that just happened, Greek Day on Broadway. But they also got like Greek focused uh, markets like over here with Parthenon, which is a supermarket. And that is one of the places where you can go in and you can get your food from a butcher. So I was right, there was a butcher here. <laughs> So, my memory was food tricking me a bit, making me question it, but I was spot on there. Sweet. <laughs> this would be uh, Balaclava Street we're crossing. In front of us, you can see the old Hollywood Theater. That's where there's a Lots of up-and-coming big acts. Like, they're not quite that big yet, but they're going to be. And they come on over here and they play in Kitsilano. And then they have, like, different dance parties, too. Like, it looks like they're going to have a Taylor Swift and a Justin Bieber dance party. That's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. Now, here's the Serrano Bakery over here. Just give me a minute and I'm going to go in here and grab some cheese pies right over here. Okay. So I'll just shine it on the door. Five, four, <laughs> three. And I'll come back to you guys in a minute after I get my stuff okay? good. <laughs> Got some cheese pies for bait, so that should be good. <laughs> if you see the cheese pies in Serrano, it's best if you want one to get one when you see it. Otherwise, they're uh, going to be gone. <laughs> they do do a few batches throughout the day, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how quickly they go. So this would be the intersection of West Broadway and Trutch Street, and I'll be looking at Trutch from a southerly direction. <laughs> and we'll keep going. Over here you got uh, Olympia, which is a Greek restaurant. They do make pizza in it too. And then you got Sahel. Which is like Donair Barbecue and Kebab, and then Donair Dude is right next to it. 
and that's their takeout location. And they have Don Air dudes all over Vancouver. You can see them on Commercial Broadway and downtown. So, really good. Lanzu beef noodles right here. You can see there's several people in the window. Just a nice Chinese noodle store. Get some really good soups in there. And the local patio at the Good Co. And this would be the Good Co. Kitsilano. It's a chain of bars I've seen here in Vancouver. There's Good Co's also over on Main Street. And there's one even on Granville Street in the Entertainment District downtown. Looks like the Superior Dollar Store is closed on Sundays. I'm so <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> but it's understandable. Like, you know, <laughs> if you need to feel the need to close, then the close. It's your business. <laughs> We'll continue on West Broadway here, just crossing Blenheim. Blenheim. Here would be the other grocery store that's in the neighborhood here. Um, this would be Sun Given Foods. You can go in there and you can get uh, some affordable ingredients too. But that one even has a little pricier than some other Chinese grocery stores that I've gone to. But it serves the community. This is a far more affluent neighborhood. And the houses over here, even though they look like normal houses, they uh, <laughs> compare to Ontario homes. They uh, rival the bridal path in Toronto in prices. So you get a giant ma mansion on the bridal path in Vancouver, or <laughs> in Toronto, on the bridal path in Toronto. And then over here, <laughs> for the same price, you, uh, <laughs> you can get a regular home. <laughs> so, that's part of Kitsilano, as well as West Point Gray. There are still a few super huge properties I have seen at West Point Gray. You can see those if you uh, see my Blanca Street video. I did a few months back. Where I walked down to the Spanish banks. Nice area of the Spanish banks. Over here is... Uh, Storm City. Coffee and Sweets. Still haven't seen anyone sit in that circle seat that hangs <laughs> from a hook. <laughs> I guess that means I'm just going to have to come down here and do it myself. <laughs> yeah, over here is one, another one of the local Restaurants. <laughs> oh, the dick is sushi. <laughs> if you want more of a Caucasian or uh, you know Western influence, you can go over to Heinz over there. Yeah, I got a jug of milk in my hand right now, folks. <laughs> Just walking over to the 99 bus stop, which is over on Alma. <laughs> I picked up some cheese fries, then I went next door to City Avenue and picked up some milk. <laughs> and I've got my partner's requested ingredients, so <laughs> I'll be bringing those home. And good will come of that. <laughs> At least for me. <laughs> so 
So this stretch of West Broadway over here after we just crossed Collingwood Street is uh, a little more residential for like a block or two. Then it picks up with some more stores. And it's really on this side is the Point Grey Manor, which is a large apartment and condo complex. Some nice big open balconies. And then when you get down to Dunbar here, it picks back up with more of that retail stretch. So this would be Dunbar, Dunbar Street up here. And we'll cross Dunbar. And over here, They've got uh, the Wolf and Hound right next to the local dojo for the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I <laughs> always love that combination. <laughs> and the Wolf and Hound is your typical British style, Irish style, that type of uh, restaurant. Oh, over here though, this place is awesome. The Taste of Thai, oh my goodness gracious. What a pleasant experience we had there. <laughs> it was well worth it. We ordered one more dish than we normally do. So dinner was a little more than our regular budget. But we only did that because we wanted to try some other stuff. And it was just absolutely de delicious, the stuff we got. Had. We had a curry chicken, Thai curry chicken. We had some appetizers. Uh, it was just, it was just good. <laughs> so good. Over here, these plants are from the Mayhew Sherwood Flower Shop. Just a nice dash of color here in the neighborhood. They got a bit of produce in there too if you aren't a pinch and you live close. And then they have this new development that's showing up over here, being built by uh, West Bank Living. It's gonna be about a six story tower, so it'll be exciting to see when that's done how big it is. This would be Alma Street we just crossed and this would be the intersection of Alma and West Broadway and that will be looking along West Broadway in a westerly direction. It's our turn so we'll cross. Oh Joe's Italian Deli. <laughs> That's where you can go in and you can grab a nice Italian sandwich. Oh, That's really what people eat from there is Italian sandwiches and then you can get like Italian ingredients. They are closed Sundays, so they're not open today, but if it was a Saturday, they'd probably have almost every table with somebody sitting at it. <laughs> and then the student's favorite is right over here by the bus stop, and that would be grounds. <laughs> Looks like my bus is here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to jump on the bus and grab a seat. Thank you. So anyways folks, thanks for coming along and uh, just remember to share, like, and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good day.